we're gonna do another comparison of uh, day one day three and a reset prolonged reset and we're gonna go over some of the philosophy of it okay the pro prolonged reset what it means to me everybody tries the best they can in life and as though I know I should have no processed carbohydrates and I know I should have as minimum amount of refined sugar as I can sometimes in life it just doesn't happen you get a chocolate bar has sugar in it you visit a friend and he gives you his favorite dish you, you can't say well you know I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a, a ketone diet I can't eat it you take a little of it and if you take a little of it you gotta taste a little it won't hurt you one little bit to deviate and you go to a restaurant and god they make that fish the way you like it but you know damn well that they put a little stuff on it to make it sweeter so you need to reset you need to get your insulin resistance back down that's what I use the reset for. The reset it's build you up, tear you down all in one day when you when you finish you're back to normal. So this is first day prolong, this is reset, and this is third day, the hardest part of prolong. So we'll just do, I, I did crack this open, last time I said I didn't, it does look like a version of a L bar. That's, that's, they could have, could, could, equivalent to the L bars. Here we go. First there, prolong, reset, build you up. Get you oils into you, omega-3 oils. And get the vitamins, two vitamins and two vitamins. First day, L bar, L bar. No, L bar they call it a fasting bar. I don't think it's as oily as the L bar. Similar. Should have really looked at the calories of both, but. This is supposed to be 670 calories about. This is supposed to be 1,100 calories. So, uh, for lunch you got uh, soups. The crackers to be used any way you want to. Uh, you have the olives in both and you have the afternoon tea. The day one has an extra L bar. And they have a snack. This is a chocolate nut snack. And this is like very similar to this one. And I would say it's um, similar to L bar. But they have a complete L bar plus a snack. And they both have soup. To show you the difference with the prolonged weekly diet, that's day one. Well, this is day three because it's severely more stressful on your body. Stress is good. Stress makes your body go out and say, 
I need more protein. Oh, look at that. That's a virus. Let me take it apart. That's a bacteria. Let me take it apart and take what I could use of it. Oh, look at that. A free-flowing cancer cell. Delicious. Let me take it apart. Take all the amino acids you want. Take whatever you need out of, out of, out of the cancer cell. What's left, send it as waste. That's why we fast. I don't think the reset goes to the extent of the five week, five day of the prolong. So to do additional protection, because this is multiple days, they give us the L drink, which gives the body the ability to create its own glucose. And it doesn't have to tear apart as much muscle as we we need. You know, while we're tearing apart, at the same time, and we do tear apart our own protein. As you know, I, I'd, I'd wish it just tear apart all the protein on my, the nerves of my on the tip of my nerves of my feet so they be functioning again. That's why I do it for. But you know, at the same time, the body sends out stem cells, brand new stem cells. You know the kind the baby have? The body says, holy mackerel, I better rebuild this. I'm ripping it apart, I gotta I got rebuild it. And then when we get off the diet, we go ahead and uh, we rebuild it. At the same time, the body's producing growth hormone. You know the kind of growth hormone that people pay two, five thousand dollars for shots of, except that they're man-made growth hormone, and there's a chance that they're not natural growth hormone, and they're in there, and they could possibly give you cancer. You know, better off, in my book, to fast than make your own body create growth hormone like when we were teenagers. And so the third day is more severe, and that's why I have the third here to compare. So we, we have the Eldring, we have... We have the L drink, we have the L bar, like the Fizz bar, the, the, the tea, only one vitamin, the, the soup, no cracker. Oh yes, there is a cracker, my mistake, there is a cracker on the third day, but there's no olives. It, you know, this is not a lot of calories. This is supposed to be 600, something like 670 calories, and this is supposed to be like 770 calories. So, which I think it is. One day I'm going to take out a, one day I'm going to take out a calculator and, 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 uh, and find out exactly how many calories there is in the third day. That's, a comparison that about the prolonged reset in the third day of the prolonged fasting mimicking diet and the first day of the prolonged mimicking diet. The reset has its place in life, especially if you tend to violate eating properly. And then you may want to say, God, I'm not feeling that well. Let me just reset. Just do one day of a fast and, and, and consume all that extra stuff that's floating in my blood and start all over. Hopefully I'll be much better the next day, so you say. Well, that's the comparison.